Now, before y'all go on the comments and say, oh, you're an evil person for saying all this in the title, why would you say, I don't give a fuck. Draymond Green punching Jordan Poole is the greatest thing I've ever seen. I loved it when I saw him drop like a sack of potatoes. That shit was the funniest thing I've ever seen, and it was well-deserved. First of all, before y'all defend Jordan Poole, do you not know what type of nigga he is? He don't listen. You have Steve Kerr, Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, and Draymond Green. All these veterans, all these people who know how to win. And you're going to tell them to go fuck themselves and do what you want? First of all, let's go into the mind of Draymond Green. You're this almost, you're like what, 10 years in the game? You're this veteran. You've been on the team for a long time. You're considered, you know, a leader. And you have this bitch made fucking piece of shit kid coming in and telling you that you ain't shit. I would have, oh, I would have fucked Jordan Poole up. I would have put him on the ground, stomped on his face. And then when they're like, oh, dream on, dream on, dream on, come to all right. I would have done exactly what Isaiah Stewart did. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm calm. I'm calm. I'm calm. Turn around, keep going. Turn around, molly whooping his ass. Draymond Green did the right thing. I don't care what anyone says. Oh, that's wrong. You shouldn't punch your teammate. Your teammate shouldn't talk shit. Your teammate shouldn't put you. As a matter of fact, I remember the video. Uh, wasn't Jordan Poole the one that pushed Draymond Green first? Wasn't Draymond Green walking towards Jordan Poole? Shouldn't that be an indication in his little fucking head? That, hey, this big nigga's coming over me. Let me calm him down. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure Draymond Green said, hey, listen, this is my team. You ain't going to tell me what to do. Imagine if some stupid ass piece of shit came off, off the street, came into your house and told you you ain't shit and told, told you what to do in your house. I would fuck that nigga up. I would make sure that nigga would never get back into my house ever again. And that's why Jordan Poole got traded to the fucking Wizards. That's why he's on the Wizards right now. And I'm glad that shit happened. He deserves to stay on a shit organization. Stay there and rot. Don't ever come back. I hope he has a horrible season with the Wizards. I hope the Wizards cut him. I hope he gets... I'm not going to wish no injury on him. Because that ain't right. But if they do go... They will face off. If the Wizards face off against the Warriors, I want Draymond Green to grab that nigga and give him a flagrant two. Stomp him. Do the attitude adjustment on him. Slam him onto the ground. Give him a nice elbow drop on that stupid little face of his. He's got a punchable face. I wonder why Draymond Green did it. Draymond Green did what Steph, Cur what Steph Curry and Clay Thompson and Steve Kerr wanted to do for so goddamn long. But they couldn't do it. Because they don't want to get in trouble. They don't want to get fined. Draymond Green had to be the nigga to do it. And Draymond Green was the nigga to do it. And Draymond Green didn't give a fuck. If it was me, I wouldn't apologize. I would say, fuck y'all. He disrespected me. He's on my team. I'm trying to help him. He don't want my help. And he's coming over here pushing me, telling me what to do. So I punched him. When they punch European white boys, everybody laughs and says, oh, whatever, oh, whatever. Oh, oh. But as soon as they punch this, a nigga like Jordan Poole, oh, that's horrible. No, terrible. Draymond Green should be suspended. They should never break. Shut the fuck up. It applies to everybody. Once you bad mouth, once you instigate shit, you get punched. There were so many warnings right there. So many warnings for Jordan Poole to understand. Even I'm pretty sure Draymond Green said, hey, this is my team. Leave me the fuck alone. Don't say that. And Jordan Poole got what he deserved. He got what he deserved. A big punch in the mouth. You don't listen. That's what happens. Sometimes words can't reach people. So you got to teach them through a nice educational beating. And look what happened. Jordan Poole shut the fuck up. He was quiet. He got a nice little punch in the face. And now he learned. And then I like how the girl asked him the question. Have you talked to Draymond? And he looked stupid. Yeah, he was afraid. Because you know what would happen? Fucking Draymond would turn into Debo and beat his ass up again. Knock his ass out. Oh, my God. I love that video. Every time I feel upset or sad, I put that video on. And it makes me so goddamn happy. Because it's so satisfying when people who don't listen and people who think they're hard get fucking dropped. 
Damian Lillard don't like Jordan Poole. Y'all like Damian Lillard. Y'all suck him off every time. And look what happened. Damian Lillard said, I don't like him because he don't know his role. He's disrespectful. He's chirping. He's on the bench saying all kinds of shit. The fuck is that? That ain't basketball. That's a little bitch made niggas thinking he is all that. Draymond Green showed him. Draymond Green showed him real good. And now the Wizards. <laughs> he's on the Wizards. Fuck up that organization. Don't come over here and fuck up the Warriors. The Wizards ain't shit. The Wizards is a trash organization. Stay there. That's why you're there. Stay there. Now he's all sad and depressed. People say, oh, Jordan Poole's so sad and depressed. Well, now he's in the Wizards. Good. He did that to himself. He shouldn't have fucked with Draymond Green. He should have left him alone. Say, Draymond, I'm not trying to fight with you. I'm sorry. Or say, Draymond, fuck off. I don't want to fight. I just said what I wanted to say. I'm sorry you don't agree with it. He didn't have to push Draymond. Draymond. He put his hands on Draymond. I'm pretty sure if, if, if somebody's walking towards me, if I'm pissing somebody off and they're walking towards me, I'm like, all right, bet. Especially if it's a big nigga like Draymond Green. What is he, 6'6"? Six, six? He's like, what? He's got to be more than 250. He's got to be like 230 pounds, 240 pounds. And you're telling me that Jordan Poole was right? Jordan Poole was the victim? He ain't no victim. He ain't no victim. These dumbass niggas on the internet saying Jordan Poole was a victim. No, he deserved it. Go and see Damian Lillard's, go and see Damian Lillard's uh, podcast or whatever, or his interview, and what you can see what he said about Jordan Poole. And people, I'm going to see who you, if you're going to still defend him. Oh, Jordan Poole. Poole, he has a ring. He doesn't have, fuck his ring. Fuck his ring. He got carried. Now he has no one to carry him. He'll never win a ring again. Trust me. Nigga, I could win a ring if I had Curry, Steph, and Draymond on my team. The fuck? That's why I hate this stupid ring conversation. There's niggas like Jordan Poole that have a ring. So what? Is he better than Charles Barkley? Stupid ass niggas. This is why basketball fans suck. They say stupid things that don't make any goddamn sense. And everybody's so soft. Like, come on. Fuck Jordan Poole. Fuck his fans. And I hope he has a horrible season with the Wizards. He ain't going to do shit. I don't care. He's definitely not going to listen to his video. I know for a goddamn fact. But if he is, fuck you, nigga. I'm glad Draymond Green made you, made you his fucking bitch. You his bitch now. You his little boy. Yeah. You didn't even fucking defend yourself. You just literally took it. Like a little bitch that you are. Fuck Jordan Poole. And that stupid fat white nigga that tried to defend him saying, Oh, Jordan Poole is six inches shorter than Draymond Green. So fuck that nigga too. I'm going to do a reaction for him. Fuck all that.